Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, guys, let's get into the energy for Virgo and then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Virgo. So I feel like you could be feeling like you're stuck and bound to work. Um, you're not bound to work. You're just in your head about it. So you can get out of this, whatever this is, but you're very up in your head, feeling stuck and bound. And it has to do with your job, possibly. So it could be causing you issues. Let's see. Let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Virgo, starting with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, somebody's looking back at the past uh, mistakes out in the cold. They've been left out in the cold. They've been ghosted. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there is something that's hidden that's a burden. They're hiding a burden. If you're dealing with a Gemini, there's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. There's betrayal with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Cancer, somebody's brokenhearted about a relationship. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's obsessed with somebody from the past. If you're dealing with another Virgo, Hermit card, your card. Um, you're looking, you're getting some clarity. You feel like you may have missed an opportunity or you're unhappy, but there's the, the lights being shown on something that either makes you unhappy or you feel like you missed an opportunity with. If you're dealing with a Libra, Libra is um, ending something to start something new. So what they're, they're coming full circle with something because they want equal give and take in a situation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is emotional communication with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone's rushing in to speak their truth. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn and their Empress. Okay, so you have the King of Pentacles and the Empress here. So this is... Um, this king of pentacles thinks this is his empress or um, he's with his empress. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody is trying to either it's a final judgment in, in divine timing or reconciling something that's faded. Um, so take it how it resonates with you. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone's very guarded and defensive in a, in a family situation. So you're feeling bound to work. You're feeling stuck at work or you're feeling like you're in your head about work all the time. You're always in your head about work. You could be obsessed with work. You could you could work way too many hours. Um, you feel like all you do is work. Get into this and see what's going on with Virgo. Going on for Virgo, please. So you have someone rushing. You may have rushed into a relationship with somebody. And there's a broken heart. That was Cancer's energy. These two cards were Cancer's energy. Um, it could have been a long time ago. Um, this was, uh, it's been a while. So this is the slowest moving night in the deck. So this is, you're looking back on this. Could be dealing with the cancer. You rushed into a relationship and now someone's brokenhearted and it's been a long time coming. Two of cups. Yeah. And you want to be with this person. You got two of cups, knight of cups. So you're looking back at this and you want to be with this person. They're a pre-empress. Boy, this has been your story for a while, Virgo. You left the Empress for a third party and it's causing you a tower moment because they're single and they're abu abundant. You see that this person has their shit together. Okay. This person, um, 
can take care of themselves. They may have a business. They may, you know, whatever they've got the money, they've got the pinnacle, and it's causing a tower moment. Because Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love, and you see something from a different perspective. And you're trying to master your emotions, King of Cups, um, to work on a such or you're out, out in the cold. <laughs> you're mastering your emotions out in the cold. You're coming in all in your emotions at, about being left out in the cold now. So I feel like with the Four of Swords, you're, you may be resting and recovering from dealing with a narcissist with this Four of Swords, uh, Five of Swords, uh, somebody that was a lot of drama. So there's somebody here trying to win at all costs, play in mind games, and you're trying to recover from the, all, from the drama, from the drama of dealing with a narcissist. That's what I'm feeling like. And you want to heal. You want to heal. Um, you're daydreaming of having a new beginning. But there was deception is under the bottom of the deck. Okay. There was deception. You definitely want to heal. You're daydreaming about a new beginning. You're looking. You want to, you may have rushed into something with somebody and then rushed out real quick. Because at that night of wands, you rushed in, you rushed out. Um, you didn't even look back. So now you're looking back. You may have broken this person's heart a long time ago. Um, you felt like this person was your person. You want to be with this person. They're, they're single and it's causing you a tower moment because you want this new love and you have seen the light, you know, that light bulb moment now, but you're out in the cold because of your own drama. So let's see what's going on with this Knight of Wands. Queen of Swords. You feel like this person that you left behind is pissed they're being strategic um because of deception yeah there was deception queen of or you were with a gemini libra aquarius and there was deception in the relationship and you were, were rushing in and rushing out or you may have um or you feel like that this is the energy of the person that you want to be with you know you there was deception right right you broke someone's heart that could have been a ten of pentacles to you. There's heartbreak in 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 a. And this is something long term and committed. So there's there's a broken heart here. Um, you may have broken this person's heart for somebody that you were in a long term committed relationship with, um, because you were juggling. Right, you were juggling them with something long term and committed for a long time. Um, you're manifesting this two of cups. You want to be with this person, but you're at a crossroads trying to figure out which path you have to take or what, which direction you need to go. This person is single and abundant, but it's over with this person. It ended, caused a tower moment, but now you want to rest and recover. You want to recover this. You want to go back towards this, right? Um, because you want love with this person. You want love with the pre-empress. You've seen something from a different perspective that you need to end something to start something new. You need to come full circle. You're trying to master your emotions because you do feel like this person's your person. But you're out in the cold. You've been out in the cold for a long time. For a long time, okay? Um, I feel like with this narcissistic energy, you're trying to rest and recover from all the drama, from all the strife, the jealousy, the competition. You want a new beginning uh, of happiness. And you want to offer that apology here. Um, and and you're trying to be patient, right? Because you want new love. Well, you can't make that up. You're trying to heal. You're daydreaming about a new beginning, but you need strength uh, because there is a lot of drama here. And you need to speak the truth about the drama. Emperor energy. Do you see this person as your true match? You see him as a twin. Can't make that shit up. Did I not say in the beginning that this had to do with the cancer? <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> this is bottom of the deck. Walking away, holding back from communication, reconciling. With... Virgo, somebody's walking away uh, and maybe holding back from communicating that they want to reconcile with you they're holding back they may walk away so wow 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 
Interesting. Interesting reading here. Forces beyond your control intervene. So it's what's meant to be will be, right? Empress energy here. Seek wisdom and guidance from elders. So I feel like really you need to talk to somebody who's going to give you some sound advice. That's what I'm feeling, right? Because it has to do with true love and fidelity. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. And retreat. Time alone in nature will help you to recharge. So I feel like your energy, Virgo, was you feel very trapped in your head at work. Now, it doesn't maybe it didn't have anything to do with work. Maybe it's this person you can't get out of your head while you're at work. This is all you think about while you're at work. Use your intuition. Use your intuition here. Purity. Healing. Innocence. Boy, this person, you really see this person as like that true, innocent, young, you know, like this person really just pure and innocent. Um, you feel like um, you want to heal this. Um, I feel like that's honest, like very honest energy of wanting to heal something, right? Divine timings at play. So Virgo, are you going to uh, make the move? That's what I'm asking. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.